Hi, Bob Thomason here. Today is September the 4th, 2018. I wanted to do a video here, not so much on my uh, health issues or lack of, but anyway, not so much on my condition with C60, but I've got some other things that I wanted to cover in here, especially for the new people. First of all, let me, let me give you this disclaimer. This video is my personal experience and should not be taken as any type of medical advice. I'm not a medical professional and offer this as entertainment only. Do your own research before you make any purchase. Okay, with that being said, first off, if you're new to C60, I would suggest uh, because there, there always seems to be a lot of people that are wondering, well, how much do I take and, you know, where do I start and everything. I would suggest that you start with five milliliters or that's a, a teaspoon once a day. Do that for a week. Then go and bump it up to... Uh, two of those a day, two five milliliter uh, doses a day. Now I take one in the morning, one in the evening. Uh, if you want to take one in the morning and then another one after lunch, I would space it out a few hours, not take them together, but space it out a few hours. Uh, I do it in the evening because it's convenient for me. I like to do that. But I've heard some talk about this having some, some mild stimulation about it and they have uh, sleep issues if they take it too late in the evening. So be mindful of that, but uh, start out slowly. And if two teaspoons or 10 milliliters a day seems to be too much, back off a little bit and you know, go up a little bit more, you know, maybe stay on the five milliliter another week and then up it from there. In my opinion, and this is just my opinion, you really want to get to the uh, 10 milliliters a day and take it in two five milliliter doses. That's my opinion. I could be wrong in this. But it seems to be uh, pretty uh, rule of thumb, as best I can tell. Now, I've tried a number of different oils. I've tried avocado oil. I've tried olive oil. I've tried uh, even a fish oil. And I've tried coconut oil. And of all of those oils, I like the coconut oil best. That's my preference. Uh, there may be some of you that can't tolerate coconut oil or just don't like the taste of it may like another oil better. Not a big issue. Whichever oil suits you is what you need to go with. But I have also found, uh, especially with the, the, the fish oil that, I tr that I've tried, um, leaves a bit of aftertaste. Olive oil is similar to this. What I have found is if I'll take just a little bit of um, fruit juice after uh, I drink the, uh, after I take the, the dosage of uh, C60, then it takes away that aftertaste. I haven't tried it with the olive oil, but uh, I know there's an aftertaste with the olive oil as well. So that's something that you might keep in mine and it just whatever fruit juice suits you best. I, I do a, a fruit juice blend that I like and I keep it around so that if I run across something that I don't really, you know, that leaves an aftertaste, I can just chase it with that. It doesn't take a, a lot, you know, a, a few swallows and you're in good shape. Uh, the other thing that I really like that I came upon uh, some time back and this works well for me, was using this medicine dropper. Uh, 
Let's see if you can see this. This is a this is a medicine dropper, and, and you can see that it's graduated on here. This is one that I picked up uh, from, I believe it was Walmart. You can get it at a at uh, a pharmacy, uh, you know, Walmart grocery store, any number of places. These are pretty readily available. This will hold up to, this will measure up to 10 milliliters, but I just used the five milliliter. And another thing that I found is this is too large to go in the um, bottle a lot of times. I mean, if you get down just a little bit, it's too large to go in the bottle. So I came up, I decided, well, I'll try this straw. And in this, uh, this uh, medicine syringe, that straw fits just right. It's a little bit snug up there so that you've got plenty of, of seal right there and you can just draw the, you can draw it right on up like that to whatever measurement you want. Works out great for me. I really like that. I've got one supplier that I buy from that actually supplies a similar type syringe. It's a smaller one than that one and uh, I really like that, but uh, I've seen some suppliers that'll, that'll put it in a bottle that has a dropper. <clears throat> uh, I don't typically use the dropper. I'll just set the dropper aside and use my little contraption here so that I can measure what I want because the droppers are not graduated. So that makes it uh, pretty nice for me and it's convenient for me. Doesn't mean you have to do it that way. You can certainly use a spoon or some other means of measurement, but I really like that. Now, I'm still taking two five milliliter doses, two teaspoons a day. But I'm doing that five days a week instead of seven. And I've been doing it that way for probably three, three weeks now and this is just in an effort to give my system uh, a couple of days of rest from supplementation and from C60. Uh, plus, it saves you a few dollars. Uh, a four ounce bottle, if you're taking five milliliters twice a day, a four ounce bottle, which is 120 milliliters, is only going to last you 12 days. Well, uh, by adding, you know, by going just the five days a week, then you stretch it, your, your uh, consumption a little bit better. You stretch the cost out a little bit further. So if you're cost sensitive, something, you know, well worth taking. And I don't see any, any loss in benefit with this. Now, I know some people will take a lot more C60 in a day's time because they have some particular health issue. Uh, they'll take a lot more than I do. And that's, as I understand it, okay too. Not gonna hurt you, um, but you just have to, you, in my mind, I wanna be healthy and I wanna do an appropriate amount. So the two teaspoons or two five milliliter doses twice a day works fine for me. With that, that's all I've got for this time. As I say, I don't have any health changes to, to report to you, but I just wanna, wanted to give you a, these few little tidbits because I felt like it was important. And also, you know, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. Um, also, you can hit that little bell down there and that will alert you to when uh, when I load a new video up. Now I only do these typically once a month. These last two have been a little bit closer, but um, I do try to keep, I want to keep everybody as informed as I can on my progress on the C60 so that you have, you know, uh, somebody else to, to see what they've done and see how you want to progress with this because there's a lot of people you know that are new to this uh, it's reasonably new information I've only been on it for about a year now but uh, I think it's for me it's good health insurance so with that I'll talk to you later